All right, so we have our basic page up and running. We have it all in our folder, and we can edit it using Sublime Text 3. Now I want to walk through and briefly talk about pass, and I'm going to use uh, the CSS style sheet to set that up. So the first thing we're going to do is create a brand new file. We're going to call this one main.css. A lot of people call it style.css, stylesheet.css. Something nice and short is fine. So now we have this link. So let's put in a quick CSS rule to test it out. So we're going to do h1 color red. And I'll save it. So when I go back to my index.html page and I have my h1 tag, this CSS rule of h1 color red is going to turn all h1 tags on my page, this one in particular, red. So hello world should now be red. I've saved everything. I'm going to go back and refresh it. I refreshed it and nothing changed. So the reason nothing changed was simply because we didn't link to CSS. So to do that, come inside, we're going to go inside of the head tag and we're going to write link rel equals style sheet. Do href equals main.css. Then we're going to close it. Now, links do not have a closing link tag. You're never going to write something. You won't even let me do it. You're never going to write something like that simply because you don't put anything in between the tags, unlike the H1 opening and closing tags, where you actually write the text. So we'll save this now. We'll go back to first website, and it works. So that's perfect. Here's the thing, though. How did it know exactly where it was? Well, the index.html page, when it has a link in like this, it actually looks around and says, okay, is there a file called main.css on the same level that I am? Now, if I click into the first sites folder, they're right next to each other. But normally, you would have a separate CSS folder, and we would drop it in like that. When you start moving files around, too, keep in mind, this file does not know that. So I've got to go and save as... Click into the CSS this time because it still thought I was on that initial layer and save it here. And yes, I will replace it. All right, so now they're not on the same level anymore. So index.html is here along with the CSS, but you have to click inside the CSS folder to actually get to main.css. So the question is, does index.html actually read the CSS file? We'll refresh it. And no, it doesn't. The reason is when index.html is looking around, using the link tag, it doesn't actually see it. So what we have to do is type in CSS forward slash, save it. Now what this is doing is saying, hey, look around for a folder called CSS, which we have right here. And inside that folder, you'll find main.css and now link to that. So when I save it, now I refresh, it's working. So this is a path. Paths got me hung up for a really long time. Um, they're just something really difficult to use. Um, but we're just going to be practicing that more and more during the class. But another path you can see is actually where this file is, is getting called from. So we see here the actual path. So I have a users folder and inside my users folder is a file called XIA and inside of that there's my desktop. And on my desktop there's a first sites folder and inside my first sites folder is index.html and I could take you through that whole path. Let's go into users, right? And the second one is XIA, so there's XIA. Then I go into desktop and there's desktop. I click into desktop and we'll find first site, which is right here. And there's index.html, the same exact folder that I was in. So that's basically how pass work. You're just gonna have to practice it so that it becomes really natural to you.